let's talk about going concern concept it is one of the most easy to understand concept but also important to be applied to any business entity at the same time going concern is an accounting term where a business entity is assumed to be in existence for a foreseeable future it may sound something that is pretty much understood and is a little redundant to apply but however it does just a little more than that in accounting let's take an example let us say that blue private limited purchases a computer for its office for rupees 50000 this computer has a useful life of 5 years approximately it means that blue private limited will be using this computer for at least 5 years hence it should charge rupees 10000 every year to its books of accounts this assumption of a business not ceasing to exist in the future holds a lot of uses it also holds directives as to the treatments of assets like the computer in the previous example going concern is the very reason why depreciation of rupees 10000 in the example discussed is calculated by considering the approximate life of an asset let's take another example your company is making a medicine and selling it for profit if however one day the government decides to ban the sale of that particular medicine now the company is not a going concern if the banned medicine was the only product you sold if in case you sell other products as well then the ban does not affect the state of your company to be a going concern let's just take one more example and then we'll wrap this up let's assume your company has a lot of debt and it is not being able to make those payments now the court has decided that you must go into liquidation and pay off the debt for those who don't know what liquidation means it basically means that you are closing your business and selling off your assets to make the payments to your creditors it can be voluntary or a court order may force you to do so now back to our example the situation of your liquidation basically means you are shutting down the business and therefore it ceases to be a going concern if your company makes the payment however before the order is passed it would still be a going concern this tells us that no matter how weak a company's position is it is still a going concern till the date of liquidation in simpler words it means that any entity will exist today tomorrow and in the future to utilize its assets or recover money from its debtors or pay off its assets etc and that's the going concern concept if you still have questions regarding the concept drop them into the comment section and i will answer them thanks for watching